YouTubers, Mike Martin's here, Mike Martin's channel. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I got some a uh, little bit of news here. I want to read for you guys. That's all over, all over the radio the last 48 hours. And no, it's not the fentanyl. It's ICBC. ICBC is the insurance company, the governing insurance body for the province of British Columbia. Unlike other provinces and other parts of the U.S., where basically you have multiple. Um, multiple insurance companies for cars so you could have competitive rates competitive um, everything's competitive so you could get the best deal possible on your car insurance right so let's start here it says here i'm going to read this article it says some say they'll move some say they'll move as icbc gets another rate hike approval They've been talking about this thing. So basically, it's like a pool. It's like a slush fund where ICBC collects everybody's car insurance and keeps it in one big pool. And apparently, the uh, the government's been taking the money and using it and dabbling with it and using it uh, for government expenditures. So I don't know what's going on. And I'm going to be really frank with you guys. When I'm driving down the street, let's say a 10-block radius off of Main Street, I catch at least... At least... 10, 15, 20 cars that are smashed up that are not being fixed. But they have insurance. They have insurance. You don't get me wrong with that. They just don't want their, 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 their premium to go up. So, I mean, this is pretty bad. You know what I'm saying? So, let me go. Let me read this article for you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Now, everything's going up in price, you know? Vancouver News, 1130. It's already a bad, ex bad experience. Uh, let me just start that over because I... I'm having a bad experience reading this. It's really dark under here. So, News 11:30. It's already a very expensive region to live in, and it seems that many people are bracing for the coming ICBC rate hike with gritted teeth. With gritted teeth, many say they're already feeling stretched to the max, and so this rate hike of 4.9 percent is filling uh, 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 filling many with dread. So. A lot of people are, aren't, aren't looking forward to this 4.9% hike. For some people, it's un unattainable. And there was one guy on talk radio talking today that there's a person, like he's a person that needs a car because he's he's handicapped. Uh, he has a special fitted car, but then he can't take the bus because there's no way he could use the bus. So what happens to people like him? And that was a really good question. Comment below if you know. Mitch, who's from Vancouver and is concerned about what this means for people who need a car for work. It's really hard thing for people trying to get new jobs or trying to live outside of downtown Vancouver or central Vancouver. So a lot of people moved out of the city because they can't afford to live in the city, but then have to commute to the city every day. And if the insurance is going up, it's not making things happy, uh, making people happy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Viaja drives for a living, says, if ICBC continues to raise rates, he might have to find a new line of work. He says that he hasn't had a significant raise in years, but is constantly paying more on the number of fronts. And they're going to have to raise it more, and I'll have to stop my work, he explains. I'll have to find another job. So this does not look good. But you gotta remember the price of cars being fixed have to go up in price. The price of everything being fixed has to go up in price. But here in Vancouver, everything's extravagantly expensive. Something that would cost fourteen hundred dollars to fix in Portland, like a front end and a repaint and a redo and straighten out a hood, would cost fourteen hundred in Portland, U.S. Here it's six grand, seven grand. So, you know, I had a Corvette. I went to I went to go out and price one of my old Corvettes. It was nice. All it didn't need any body. Just a nice, nice coat of fresh paint, same color. Nice and clear, and there were, uh, there were, I was uh, quoted at $10,000 to paint a car. I'm like, what? I could go down to Northern California, find a, a shop down there, and get it done for two, 3000 bucks. You know, a good job, too. I don't know, man, what's going on here. So let's keep going. Don says he feels people might start leaving the city and region if the cost of living continues to skyrocket. It's already expensive enough to live in Vancouver, he argues. Hydro and the cost of living. People are going to start moving out. Put more savings aside. What more can you do? What more can you do, right? Beyond the coming rate rise, the provincial government has also announced a review of ICBC, which aims to ensure future rate increases remain in line with inflation. 
But the problem is inflation is hitting, but the, the rate of pay isn't going up. And that's becoming a major problem. You know what I'm saying? And uh, somebody commented here. I'm going to, it says the conversation here. And it says here, elect smart folks. Toss the current ones out. What about MSP, a.k.a. death and sickness levy? What about the hydro increases, IPP underwriting? How about the PPP contracts, which guarantee the investment returns for profit companies? Got a shadow, uh, got a shallow tolled, see the sky, told, see, sorry, told, see the sky. All have been treated as cash cows. And now that folks are beginning to, to notice, all seems to be flexible due to the looming election. Don't be swayed by desperate moves attempt to to preserve power. The years of neglect that went on are the true indicator. And that was posted today at 7.35. Then somebody else posted ICBC is, an ap- is the absolute worst. I'm going to leave a comment below for this article. Let me know how this rate hike is going to affect you guys, if it's going to affect you guys. What do you guys pay overseas, where you guys are from? I know you guys are from other parts, Australia, London, UK... Man, ever from everywhere. Let me know what you guys pay for car insurance out there. And if you do pay for car insurance out there, is it a slush fund like here? Here is a total slush fund. So they put the money in one account. And the government, I guess the government, the the, the provincial government takes it and uses it as a slush, fu- a slush fund for uh, government activities or government expenditures, right? And not putting it into the right. And the city is getting super expensive and a lot of people are leaving the city. Um, it is a mass exodus of people. It's beyond what you could imagine. The exodus of people is beyond. People are moving out of the city in droves. I'm talking to a lot of people that used to come to my store, you know, play cards, hang out. They're coming for Christmas, and I'm like, well, I'll give you an example. My friend Jeffrey came. Jeff, what's going on, buddy? He's like, no, I got a job. I'm working out in Kamloops. I live in Kamloops. But I said I'm going to come down to Vancouver and visit Mike and see him at the shop. Then I had another um, a friend, Kevin, same thing. Oh, I had to move to Seattle. I couldn't afford to live in Vancouver anymore. Then my other friend, uh, Tony, same thing, had to move out to Chilliwack and found a, a, a cheaper one bedroom there. And he's working a, as a pharmacist, as a pharmacist somewhere because he can't afford to be a pharmacist in Vancouver and live in Vancouver. So there's a lot of people leaving and a lot of people are, I guess, they're infrastructurally setting up jobs out there so they don't have to come back here for no reason. You know what I'm saying? One is enough enough. I don't know. I mean, it's getting to a point where Canada won't be just like that, that article I read for you guys about the housing. Uh, that one, one housing uh, real estate agent was saying, oh, you know what? Let me tell you something about this. You, Vancouver should be a city only for the elite and, and the well-to-do. Vancouver is, uh, in the next five years, will become a city for only the rich and the well-to-do and tourism. It's not really for the, the average Canadian to live in. When I read that article, I was choked. I was like, so what? People founded the country, colonized it, built it up infrastructurally, highways, roads, homes, and everything, and then kick them out when it's done, and then move in others so while the locals that built the place have no say and no word. Anyways, I don't know, man. Let me know what you guys think. Um, comment below. Is this hike going to bug you? Is this hike... You know, I mean, paying more for, for car insurance, you know. i thinking, you know what, my, 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 my personal, um, if you wanted to do something about this, what I would do, like straight up, just charge more across the board for the people that have accidents. And the ones that don't have accidents, like I've never been in an accident in my life. I had one guy back into me, like reverse into me, because he was halfway through the intersection, and he didn't go through, and then he backed into me, and then... Long story short, the guy was a dick. But anyways, I don't know what's happening. I mean, I'm a great driver. I've never been in accidents, right? I've never, you know, I have I think the last speeding ticket I got was probably like in Arizona. So I don't even have a speeding ticket even locally. So let me know what you guys think. I mean, if you have a clean, clean record, is it fair? Should they just start charging the people that can't drive? I, I'm, I'm, I mean, I could see insurance going up because I'm driving home. I almost get into 14 accidents. I have to get my way out of accidents and save my life on the way home. A lot of people could attest to that. They could say, hey, Mike, you know what? You're right. You're not exaggerating. I go out three blocks. There's always somebody weaving. And then he looks like, wow, what's wrong with this guy? Why is he weaving for? You know, weaving drivers. I don't know. Comment below. I'm talking too much. Let me know. Bye.